Um, before I wanted to say something uh, about this one. Because this one is the, a bit of um, a painting that uh, depicts the um, Porto, Porto di Ripetta, which is on, in Rome, which, uh, as you see, it doesn't exist anymore. But it, it's not an Italian painting, it's a Dutch painting. And this Dutch painting was, uh, his name is Gaspar van Wittel. And in the Italian novels, know him as a. Uh, Gaspari Van Vitelli. Well, he, he moved to Italy and he spent all his life there. The reason why I'm, I'm showing it is because this is one of the first um, painting related to the Italian Vedutismo because he was a, the teacher, let's say, the maestro of, uh, of Canaletto. It's not by chance that I use, I pick this paintings. These paintings were, were realized by with a, with a tool, with a, with a medium, with a ca camera obscura, which is so close to the camera that we use, the photographic camera. So when you see these pictures, this one is from the nephew of uh, Canaletto, Bellotto, you may, want, you, you may think that they look like a photograph. I mean, and they, they do. Now, what is, what is interesting about, first, photographers at Hoffman, especially in the beginning of the 20th century, the pictorialists, they wanted to, they repeat their photographs to look like paintings. And, and, uh, in a way, these paintings are uh, trying to what, are they, what, are, what, what the painter wanted to do. I mean, they, he wanted to, to try to be the more objective, faithful, reliable. He wanted to have a representation of reality which was real, you know. The, and we should know that these paintings were uh, painted in the, more or less in the half of the 18th century, where the, you know, the Enlightenment conception of, uh, were saying that uh, we need the rationality. And we need rationality, and we're all, also the Renaissance was about that, but we need rationality, and so we're trying to show the world to the, the, the world in the most reliable way. And what are we doing? We are kind of taking picture photographs. And we believe as if this photograph, as this painting, are showing exactly what we are seeing. It's also interesting to know that when they were working, this painter, this painter couldn't, these are very high scale um, paintings, they are very big. So it's impossible to, think, to bring a huge camera scura outside to make this painting so big. So they use a camera scura like these dimensions and they painted parts of the, the of the view and then they were, they linked this um, together to make a, a complete view. So anyway, what did they do? They could use part of this as, as negative for photography. It's very interesting because it's a very close to photography, this way of thinking, but not because they, the, the reliable representation, but because they, they need to show a rational, a reality which is, uh, which is believable. But what is more interesting to me is that we need a tool, an instrument, a medium to be assured that our perceptions are real. Why? This is also, I'm saying all this because I like to think about my pictures as a scenarios, also the battlefield, where probably, I mean, there's for sure something happened. People died, people fought, and Cavalry running. So I think that those frame, my framing are the scenarios. 
of an event which is not possible to take a picture of. So the caption me is the the, um, the help for the viewer to get into the image and go back in time. So as I was saying, these are um, the benutismo, which initially started in uh, in Oman with Pat Vermeer. So you see, for example, this one is a, a canaletto in uh, in London. It's a, it's it's a photograph. The light, the, the shadow, and also this one. It's a, it's even more a photograph because of those of that basket hanging. That's a, 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 a photographic a photographic detail. Another painter would have skipped it. It, it wouldn't have painted, but. Because he had to be reliable to what he saw, he did. As you can tell, the painting depicts um, the city of Venice, the Canal Grande, and we just said, and we know, the Canaletto paints luminous, clear and reliable views through an accurate record of the environment. But this painting lies. The reliable and the faithful view shows something that doesn't exist and didn't exist at the time. It is a um, so-called capriccio. Basically, a capriccio is a painting that seems to be representing a real scene. What do we have here is a fake representation of reality, a mix of using a faithful recorder, such as the camera obscura, and the imagination of the artist. Uh, the power, the impact of images on spectators is something that intrigues me, both within photography, but speaking general within all manifestations of visual arts. So as this Capricci teach us, we should be, w um, be wary of images to feel at ease with them. All this interaction is to, to speak about this work, which is the work that the Tudor project which, in a way, has this uh, um, objective framing, very clear, very, very precise. And, but in a way, it's, depict, it's showing or depicting something that it didn't happen. I mean, it, it, you see, this is a. I will tell. I will show you some pictures. This picture I'm really taken in Italy and then back to uh, some other Italian uh, European countries. So these are all set, they are staged. I use um, flashlight remote controlled with a remote and people are acting. They are doing something that are, so they are directing. So you know, when you see it, you wouldn't ask yourself, I mean, you, you may ask yourself or not if they are staged or not. Or um, probably you won't and you just think about this picture as a showing a, a daily life, not, you know, something that happens every day. And, uh, but this one I took in Finland. So in a way, I like to to work um, kind of a, in, a, in a way which is, that is not clear, that show uh, a very clear or faithful image of objective as it's, it's very well framed. It's a class, classic, sort of a classical approach to images. But what is inside the image is not real because of my big concern is uh, reality. I like to, to think, this is a, an especially French philosopher that says that uh, what, uh, okay, what link human being to the world is the credence in the world, the belief. Because you wouldn't believe in what you see. You wouldn't believe that it, it exists. So, and images are not reliable. 
So this is the, the last image of my presentation. And uh, the only thing I want to say what I'm, work, what I'm, I'm working now it's a, a project that I'm making with two other photographers and it's about um, it's, it's a website and it will be a sort of a container of images that uh, the use of photography is very different from the, the previous work so it will be some art, other artists will be invited to participate to give the contributes to the website and uh, so there are now this is the very the very first I mean the the, the beginning there are all the very few um, sections but it's uh, and it uh, we'll talk about Italy but we want to other people from all over the world I mean the artists that will be that will like to participate to this container. So these are, for example, our postcard. One of the guys I'm working with that collected a lot of postcards from the 60s. And the section is called the Happy Days. This is, for example, um, a project about the years of lead, which are uh, years that were in the 70s, where Italy went into a lot of uh, Attacks from so this is a this is a the very beginning. So I have finished. I'm finished with the presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bored you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much.